This girl is still blowing on my phone. She's still stalking my whole entire life because I just don't understand. I've never, I've never knew somebody could care that much, especially when you're in a whole nother relationship. Hello, it's Capricorn season. Y'all don't even know that I really be getting nervous before I ever freaking video, but I think I'm actually going to put these clips in now because just like I'm really sitting here like, what the fuck? Okay, anyway. Uh, <laughs> What's up, Nation Gang? It's your girl Shay, and I am back with another freaking video. dropping the heat the bakers all 2023 already know by the title below why we are here <sighs> are y'all ready to get into it i don't think y'all ready to get into it for real y'all ain't ready to get into it y'all really want to know the deets y'all really want to know the real like uh because we gonna tap into it and we're not even gonna tap into it on the drama aspect even though I know that's why a lot of y'all here, but we're going to tap into like just some real overall, real raw uncut shit. Like I'm going to lay down the real shit. If you're new to my channel, welcome back to my channel. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so you are notified every time you go post. And yeah, make sure y'all really share this video because it's about to be a really good one. Okay. So anyway, um, I asked my social media is basically to send me some questions so that I can do a basically like an updated Q&A on my channel, right? It's the new year. It's been months since I've done a Q&A, probably about a year since I've done a Q&A. And it's, a lot has transpired. A lot has happened. And I'm not going to lie, like, even though, like I said, I know why y'all here, because that's what I'm going to tap in first, because I just want to get that out the way. I'm going to get out the way. Um... I just feel like they really snapped on these questions. Like these questions are real, like deep. It's really deep. It's very like, not no typical ask, what's your favorite color? What was the last meal you had? Who's your best friend? No, you know, it's just like, they're just really good questions. Okay, let's get into it. All right, y'all, so the first question is, I'm not even gonna lie, they funny as hell for this question because I don't even know the answer to this question. But y'all can maybe put in the comments below what this question is. So anyway, the first question is, how do I bag a unicorn? Wait a minute, wait. How do you bag a unicorn? I don't know, like, what do you, like, I feel like, honestly, like, I feel like the person was being funny. But I really think she might be for real because when I was like, what do you mean? Like, can you elaborate? Can you dig a little deeper? Can you give me more? She just was like, you know what I mean? And I'll be expecting my answer on the um, channel. And I was just like, okay, I just feel like maybe she's, maybe she's elaborating on how to bag a female, how to get a female, how to, I don't know. And I feel like if, <laughs> if I'm really answering this right, y'all, I feel like, honestly, when it comes to women, it's not really much to it. Like, you just have to be real genuine. Like, you just got to come off, like, very sweet and charming. I don't know. With me, I love a charming-ass motherfucker. I love a motherfucker that's real smooth and good on their feet. Like, yeah. So, if you one of them, you feel me, and... And you just, it's giving what it's supposed to give. She gonna fuck with you. Whether that's on the, on an intimate level or this your little unicorn. This who you fuck when you want to fuck with. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Next question. Next question. How do you feel about going into 2023 after so much in 2022? Um, honestly, y'all, it didn't come until about the beginning of November where I really, took myself to another level in life like it wasn't until i had to come into my senses that the people that i want in my life that are willing to cut me off for whatever reason they want to cut me off for and i'm just yearning for that love i'm yearning for that energy for that like relationship and it's not happening the way that i needed to happen i had to let them things go i'm not gonna lie y'all i had a moment with my family i had a moment 
and I called my brother up, or did he call me? Either or, I was on the phone with him, and I ain't gonna lie, it was, it was, it was three words. Wait, it was four words. Four words. They got me right. I swear to God, I ain't never been. I ain't never been the same since. I ain't never been the same since. Shout out to my brother Brandon. That nigga stab. He told me to shut the fuck up. Shut, shut the fuck up. Okay. Why are you crying? Why are you still crying over the same ass pity ass people that ain't giving, ain't, ain't gave a fuck in years? Like you've been woofing, you've been crying, you've been boo-hooing about the same situation for years. Y'all, it's been years. No bullshit. It's almost damn near been a decade. Like, shut the fuck up. I needed to hear that shit because honestly, y'all, like I felt like when it came to traumas and triggers and like just shit that I feel like I've been dealing with, it's like the same shit. Like it was like I was like a fucking tape recorder. Like rewind, press play, pause, rewind, press play. Like <clears throat> I just feel like I just kept saying the same stuff, and it was just like I promise you, y'all. The beginning of November was the time where I was like, from this point going forward, not even wait until January first to really get this shit right. I had that moment right then and there. From this point forward, now that I know the real intentions for for not even those relationships, but just within myself, you know what I'm saying? Just really going hard and going big and going strong and all the things that I do. You know, everybody knows me from Shay the Dancer. Oh, it's Shay the one with the twerk classes. There's so much more to me that in 2023, I will be tapping into. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though I'm a little scared, I'm like, oh my God, this is but I'm really excited because I just feel like there's so much in me that the world has to see. You know what I'm saying? I, don't, I didn't go through these things just to go through them. Like, I went through them to help somebody out. I went through them to give advice so that it could help the next person, you know? So, in 2023, like, I just feel good. I feel good going into 2023. Like, I got my head on strong. I'm happy. I'm surrounded around the right people. I'm blessed. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just, it's just good. It's good. From the plaza, it's good. It's good. All right, y'all, next question. Are you single? If no, are you happy? Because one thing about it, you could be in a relationship and be, like, miserable as hell. You could, like, literally be, like, not happy. <laughs> like it, it, it just it be like that it really do be like that but to answer the question um am i single no and to answer the following question after that am i happy hell yeah okay overly motherfucking happy overly motherfucking joyful and all of the above <laughs> all right y'all next question um Hold on, y'all. It's like I got my little notebook right here because these questions is big. I'm trying to tell you. I had to write it down. Uh, it says, what are some lessons and experiences that you've learned in 2022 and won't make in 2023? Look, following those red flags, okay? You show me one red flag, you're canceled. It ain't no, I can be such a like, I overlook the bullshit in people. I give them the benefit of the doubt. Not no more. Not no more. I don't do that no more. I would definitely say things that don't um, feed me or don't like give me uh, the things that I need to, you know, for allowing me to just be good and like continue to like elevate. Like anything that just hinders me, it just has to leave because you bitch, you're giving me a hiccup. Like, no. Uh, <laughs> Talk about you giving me a hiccup. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I would say that. I would say forcing relationships. I would no longer force another relationship. I feel like anything that is for me will be for me and that shit will be easy. Like, it's not going to be a whole lot of whole lot of like, I just feel like it doesn't have to be all of that. Like, if you love me, it will show. You know what I'm saying? If you really cared about me and want to be in your life, then I would. Like, it's just like, it's really that just that simple. You feel me? So, yeah. Um... To even be on a more like deeper like level too, like I've been very I've been making God just more intentional within my life this year. Like I feel like yes, He's always been a part of me, but I don't only want to go to God when I'm down. 
I don't only want to pray when I'm down. I want to pray when I'm down, when I'm happy, when I'm in the middle, when I'm trying to make a decision, on my way to work, you know, in a bad storm. Like, I want to be able to have him in everything, every emotion of my life, whether that's up or down. I don't want to just do all of that. So, like, I'm very, I'm going to make him a, like, big factor within my life this year even though he's always been a huge factor but just really just tapping more into him and things like that hey y'all next question do you feel like a lot of success and greatness is coming your way absolutely 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 not because like oh success me like pick me like no it's just because like I feel like I work my ass off I feel like I manifest to be successful. I feel it in my bones and my veins. You ever like sense something is like for you and you're just waiting for that time to really blow up? Like that's where I'm at in life. Like it's like I can say, I can smell it, I can hear it, I can see it, I can feel it. Like one day I will be successful. Like one day I will be wealthy and one day I would build my dream home. One day I would not be located in Minnesota. Like like one day I'm just gonna be like stable in all areas where I can take care of myself, my family, you know what I'm saying? You know, donate to communities and like programs and give back to the people that gave back to me. Like <clears throat> I, I feel that for myself, I'm very excited to get there. You know what I'm saying? I always thank God in advance for that because I always pray for that. And y'all already know my motto of Mark 1124. Maybe if you didn't know, now you know. Whatever you ask for in prayer, if you believe it, you shall receive it. And that is definitely one of the biggest things that um, I always manifest and pray over my life. So until due time, mark this time right now on this very date, January 5th. Okay, I don't know what time it is, but, <laughs> but yeah, so I'm definitely going to get there. Um, patience is a virtue. Patience is key. Um, putting in time, being consistent is key. You know, I can't be successful just sitting on my ass. So it's kind of like, I just have to continue to like, not be fearful, continue to just put out great content. Like I said, being consistent, going hard, praying, praying, um, just always finding something new and fresh to, to add to the channel and just my everyday life. You know what I'm saying? So I'm excited. So y'all gonna be seeing that soon. Y'all gonna be seeing it because it's happening. Oh, it's happening for y'all. It's happening. Next question. <clears throat> Where do you see yourself going slash doing in 2023? It's a lot of like 2023. What's going on with Shay in 2023? Um, I just see myself going up. Like it's, it's nowhere but up from here. Like I've done it all. You know, I just was talking to one of my really good friends and I'm like, bitch, I'm going to be 25. I don't have no more time to play. I've done the partying. I've done the hangovers. I've gotten drunk. I've smoked my weed. I've, you know what I'm saying? Dibble and dabble here and there. I've had my fun. I've had my fair shares. I feel like it's time for me to take my life serious it's time for me to really buckle down and work my ass off to get to where I'm gonna be because it's not gonna nobody's gonna do it for me like I see visions for myself and I have to get myself there like I can't oh, I'm fucking scully. <clears throat> I can't um she always call it when I'm doing a video <laughs> like what the fuck is she know I'll be recording I don't know why she do that but um but yeah like I, I it's, it's really up to me to to get there and see that for myself so I just gotta keep working and keep fighting um honestly like I'm in the process of doing my own journals I want to um have journals like I want the whole like what do you want to call it like I just want it to be like very motivating very encouraging on um each page that you write on I want it to be like your own little like world where you just go in write down you manifest your goals and you just write about your day whether it's a good day or a bad day or you know what I'm saying just your to-do lists and all of that like I just want it to just be very like you know whatever I'm not gonna speak too much on that just know that's a little token um so be looking forward to the journal drop and just more updates with that but I got a few more things you know that's the only thing I'm gonna give y'all right now but as y'all will see as y'all tune in more on the channel um each and every week like I'm always gonna be dropping something um 
crazy. Like, I feel like I'm kind of going in a certain kind of avenue, but then again, I'm trying to, you know, stay neutral. So we shall see where this, this channel takes us in. You know, I just really hope that y'all just enjoy the ride with me. I hope that y'all just continue to, I know my little thing that my sister bought me didn't just die. Um, I think it did. Y'all, my sister got me this little vlog, a mirror, like little thing. And it's so cute. I'm going to post a little video right here as I speak. It was a Christmas gift. I told her I wanted something for like my vlogging and like me doing something for my vlogs or whatever. And she just got me like this super cute like mirror like vlogging set. Like it's just so fire. It's like a makeup little thing. I don't know. But um, I'm, I'm using it right now. This is my first little YouTube video on it. So shout out to my sis. Period. Um, but yeah. So... Did I answer that question? Yeah, I basically answered that. Yeah, the big thing's coming. We going up. We going up. Up, 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 up. Once upon a time, and I heard that I was ugly. Came for a bitch who nickel went up. Okay, yeah. Anyway. So, that's all right, y'all. And um, this was a really deep question, but I feel like I'm going to answer this to the best of my ability. So, here we go. Next question. If you could lead African American community, what are some things you would want to change and why? I feel like really y'all like my passion, my purpose is to really just encourage people like, yes, it's hard. Yes, you're going to go through shit. Is the bullshit going to stop? No. You know what I'm saying? But you have to learn how to maneuver through that. It's always going to be something, but you have to learn how to maneuver through that. So I feel like I've always wanted to start a girls group. I feel like um, as far as in the African-American African community, as far as like the women, we always feel like we got to be like competitive towards like one another. Like, bitch, why can't we both be boss ass, fine ass bitches together? Like fine females together. Like, why are you trying to compete with me? Why are you hating on me? Like, don't do that. Even with the men, like, <clears throat> I feel like it's very hard for our black men to just, like, I don't know. They feel like they have to just live one world. And it's like, you can be so much more than that. The streets, it's not for everybody. Okay? The streets is for nobody because it ain't nothing to give you but death or prison. Like, so it's really just like, I don't know. I feel like I would some way, somehow just coach and encourage our youth in our community that there's just so much more to life than what you see but yeah so i don't know i just always wanted to just encourage my community that they are loved that they are wanted and that they could definitely any goal any aspiration that they want for themselves you know if they put in the work and be consistent and not give up and surround themselves around the right people pray god is the number one you know without him you're nothing so it's kind of like look here we gotta we gotta really deep dive in this thing the right way the correct way uh so that he can guide you and and, and and give you everything you need and the tools that you need to conquer what you want for yourself okay is the best way I can answer this question. All right, boom, jump around for the question y'all been waiting for. Y'all thought I was gonna tell you in the beginning, but I didn't. <laughs> gotcha, I gotcha. This was the biggest question of the year. I know my neighbors really can't stand me. I know they don't, I know they don't. Literally y'all, one moved in and then they moved out. Like, I don't know if it's because like, <laughs> we, be yelling at, we be yelling at this bitch. Like, I don't know if that was the reason why I don't know, look. That motherfucker moved in and moved out quickly. But, um, last question. The biggest question that everybody motherfucking asks is, is your ex still stalking you and why? And how do you cope with it? Okay? Like I said, this is for educational purposes only. Okay? This is just to help the next sister, the next brother out there that's dealing with a crazy ass ex like myself okay Woo! they blow me up y'all about this okay um to answer the question yes 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 all the receipts 
here, 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 here. Yes, yes, y'all. It's still happening. It's still happening. Honestly, um, it's very frustrating. It's very like it makes me want to really pull my hair out. I, I, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I be having my moments where I like break down. I cry. I cuss. I I literally question God. I'll be like, why? Why is this still happening to me? I pray. It's like, are you hearing me? I, I just be like so like all over the place with it because I just don't understand. I've never, I've never knew somebody could care that much, especially when you're in a whole nother relationship. Why are you still bothering me if you're in a whole nother relationship? You so happy. You're so content. You're so, we got this. We doing this. My wife. Da -da -da -da. Why are you still blowing me up then? I want to know. I really want to know. Like, why do you continue to still fucking, like, why? What do you want from me? I don't have nothing to give you. But I felt like this was the perfect time to record this video because I'm going to give y'all a little something. <coughs> so recently, I got a phone call. And I ain't going to lie, y'all. I haven't given, um, I haven't given the person no smoke because I'm like if I add fuel to the fire the fire's just going to get bigger and she feeds off of stuff like this like she feeds off of hearing my voice she feeds off of any type of attention that I give her it don't, mind. it don't matter if it's like a period of a text back it doesn't matter if it's a hello and then I hang up and then she just repetitively just keeps calling it doesn't matter any little thing is a is fuel to add for her little pity fire. And I don't have time for that. So it was it was months, y'all. It was months I was not responding. I was not answering on phone calls. When she would call, I would just put my like unknown caller ID off, like on, so that I won't get no interruption phone calls, anything like that. And um, it just like I just felt like not only do she just fuck with me, but she fuck with my family too. So you get to call in my family and shit. That just like if you gonna fuck with me, that's one thing. But you fucking with my family, that's a whole nother ball game. Like, I don't play around with that. I don't like that kind of shit. I don't do that kind of shit. I, it's already bad enough that it's this type of situation. So the fact that you making it like 10 times harder, it's just like, don't, like, come on, bro. But, um, but, uh, so I'm not gonna lie. I definitely, like, popped off. You, she, it was like my little sister popped off. Cause it's like, bro, what the fuck, what the, what, 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 and, and you know what, that's why I appreciate, like, my, I just appreciate, this way you gotta have the right people in your life, cause they gon' they gonna bring you down, like, I was hyped up, y'all, I was sick, I'm, I'm getting over a cold, I was sick, I'm going in, I'm going crazy, but when you got the right people around your life, cause I was finna send a whole text, really go there with shorty, like, oh, this is the type of time you wanna be on, let's fight, let's go, <clears throat> but no this the devil like the girl name on my phone is the devil like it's literally like she's crazy and i'm like they were like just calm down you already know the conversation that we had before the new year even started you already know how this girl is calm down you know what i'm saying regroup yourself and just get back on track like this is the type of shit that she do you gotta learn how to not give her that kind of energy and not even not give her the energy but you gotta learn how to emotionally like maneuver through that like don't allow her to throw you off when she gets to be on her bullshit like just give her grace and this is what i'm going to talk about hold on this is what i'm going to talk about when it comes to that i was at work and i was um on facebook and i was literally like scrolling through facebook shorts and a lot of like td jakes um videos were popping up and it was talking about like letting go of people that are just so willingly to walk out of your life and da 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 but then there was this another video that was like when it comes to your enemies, you have to really apply grace upon them. Instead of giving them the energy that they're giving you in return, you literally have to like be nice to them. It's like I it's like me lowering myself to her standards and how she go about shit ain't doing no justice for me. Like, if anything, I'm just as low as she is. Like, that's how I kind of took the video. And I'm nothing like this bitch. Like, I'm nothing like this bra. So, it's like, I have to really learn how to give 
my ex grace i had to learn how to continue even though it's been a year y'all to just continue to pray for her and continue to allow her demons to fall off continue to detach that soul tie continue to allow god for her to just let me go remove me from her spirit from her soul because them soul ties y'all are real this is a true soul tie even though i don't have a soul tie to her she still got a soul tie to me and that's just how that shit go a lot of shit be played out like i'm i'm the one in the wrong but i'm gonna let y'all know now and this is the only time i'm gonna let y'all know is that like it's not me this girl is still blowing up my phone. She's still stalking my whole entire life. And yeah, I just learned that I just have to just continue to like just give her grace. I have to continue to pray for her. So if you have somebody out there that is stalking you, an ex that is still stalking you, won't let you go, continue to give them grace. Continue to understand, understand that they actually have a mental illness problem going on and that they just truly need help. And that's one thing I know for sure that my ex very much so deals with um it is it is very frustrating it's very frustrating for a person like me because i'm just like i'm just so ready to move on and enjoy my own relationship and really like just enjoy my own life i don't want to deal with nothing that was in the past and i promise y'all it don't matter a restraining order it don't matter a police phone call it don't matter if i talk to the mama pull up to the mama church like y'all i done done it all okay I've done it all and it's it's like still the same and I feel like honestly the only person that could get rid of this girl the way that I want her to be gone is nothing but God. Nobody but God. And so I have to just continue to stand strong in him and understand that he, he does hear my prayers and he do hear my cries and that one day I will not have to deal with this. So it's the testimony. One day it will be a testimony that yes this is a phase, this is a person and all these experiences that I've gone through with this person. But I am renewed, I am better, I am stronger, I am wiser. I, I've learned a lot just within the situation. I've learned the type of person that I want to deal with and that I don't want to deal with. Um, I've learned the red flags. I've learned the, you know, like, people tell you one thing, but they actually show you another. Like, I've learned all of that. So it's just like, you know, even if you're watching this video, like, which I know you probably are, like, I give you grace. I truly do. I truly do. I truly, truly, truly do give you grace because it's like, I really just want you to be good at the end of the day. You know, can we all just be good around this motherfucker? Like, you know, like, fuck, fuck, like, fuck. Anyway, y'all, I don't really want to touch too much on that. I don't, I don't want to give that too much energy. Um, I just wanted it to just be very encouraging and helping to somebody that you know if you got an enemy out there or whatever like again give them grace pray for them that's all you can do you can't do nothing else don't fight them don't argue with them don't give them nothing no type of energy smoke none of that it's like just leave it be leave it up to god because if anything he gonna handle it the right way okay leave it alone let it go it's 2023 Let's really like focus on ourselves and evolve and just want more and better for ourselves, y'all, because it's truly out there for us. Like, it's truly out there. And write it down. Whatever you want your, your soulmate to be, write that shit down. I promise you it's going to come. My game. It's here. <laughs> My life is being set up for success. Set your life up for success. Set yourself up for success. Like, you got this, okay? Y'all got this. I'm proud of y'all. We have made it a whole nother year. Again, happy new year. I love y'all. Y'all know my mother. Like, right, they finna come back. Ah, ah. is definitely coming up so I'll be on the lookout for that y'all already know shay nation the motherfucking cut in the motherfucking snack make sure y'all hit that subscribe button i hope y'all enjoyed this video if you did give me a big fat big thumbs up